So then I picked up some more uh, AEG. You see my own battery packs. Picked up a uh, single 6 amp hour. Which doesn't light up at all. Bulb gauge on the back there. Picked up a 1.5 amp hour. Which lights up with 4 bars. Tipping its charging problem. And another 1.5 that lights up, no worries too. I'll pull that one apart in a separate video, and the same with these, but uh, a 2 amp hour 12 volt, which is good. That'll have these, uh, exactly these, either LG or uh, uh, INR 18650. Samsung is it? Been 2 amp hour. I'm tipping the same out of this 4 amp hour. 4 amp 12 volt AEG. It's a high capacity yeah. 12 volt battery. So these are quite similar in construction. There's a Milwaukee. Obviously the same company. As you can see, very very similar in construction. Um, gonna make a few videos on the bench here tonight. Uh, this is a five amp hour. It's my repaired R1, so it's the one, first one I repaired. Five amp hour. I reckon the cells have got back out of balance for some reason, and uh, I won't let it charge because it was full. It discharged completely on the M12 Spotlight uh, M18. Fod lights are, and uh, won't charge back up since then. So uh, we shall pull apart one of these 1.5 amp hours so I can show you the cells inside one because I don't think I've got one. No, not up there. I'll scrap a screwdriver and I'll attack this and we'll open it up and I'll show you what's inside. To the good old magic film. There we go. Screws are all out. Once you get your screws out on these, you set up a helper so that you don't have to hold the camera. Because I'm uncoordinated and uh, doing two things at once isn't my forte. Once you've got it undone, put the 1.5 so the lid lifts off. Shows you all the uh, internal structure and operating. You see the vents with a bit of like, gauzy meshy kind of stuff over there to stop big bits of shit getting through. You can see the button mechanism for the volt gauge. And then see the PCB on top. Including the uh, bulb gauge button there. And then got a couple of nice big ICs and a heatsink. Which I'm yet to test out, but I'm thinking it could be a charge control. Right, so then we get the uh, flat blade screwdriver. We should be able to gently slip that in the sides here. The side comes off. Same again over here. And the side comes off. And then exposes what we've got here. I've got one out of a different pack. Maybe even a Milwaukee pack. Same thing, doesn't matter. INR 18650 15 double M. The Samsung. That one tested at 1575 milliamps. And uh, this is a 1.5 amp hour pack. That easy, we've got a uh, another five potentially excellent cells. Probably nothing wrong with them. Uh, just the fact that the charger won't play ball or the circuit board dies. All right, so it's simple. Nothing too amazing about the actual 
cells. The circuit board on them is quite complex compared to a Milwaukee or a uh, similar cell. There's a Milwaukee one. It's quite small and compact. As compared with the what's on his AG board. And the Milwaukee one, there's no big ICs. Look here, there's no heat sinks. It makes me think that the charge that uh, AEG is using is quite a rural thing, and it just bulk pushes charge in from a separate pin, and uh, this actually controls the charge and distribution to the cells. So it's like it's an onboard VMS. Hmm, that's all there is to say about these. Uh, I'll uh, open up the 1.5, uh, the 2 amp hour and the uh, 4 amp hour 12s now. Thanks for watching. Next video coming. See ya.